Okay, I guess this is an update on the go-kart. Um, we've got our sprocket here. So, and, and then here, the brake, I just took it off because we need a new axle. Because we're not going to be using those wheels anymore. The small ones. We're going to be using these wheels. They were three quarter inch shaft. Drilled them out to one inch. And then what we're going to do is get something like this, or like a sprocket. We grounded down the teeth on it, and it will slide on the shaft, on a one inch shaft. Um, and I, on the wheel, it'll go in like that, and we'll weld it all the way around, and then that'll be our hub. So we can bolt these wheels to the axle, but to tighten the hub, you screw these in, and then it expands in it, or it tightens, and then gripping onto the shaft, but since this would be at the end of the shaft, that's not long enough, so we need a new shaft, a new one inch shaft. And I've got some new kiwi, um, just an all around update, not much has been happening, it's been slow, so I have to take the axle all the way out get a new one, and put everything back in, like brake, sprocket, bearings, everything. So I'm just going to get that brake the rest of the way off, and I'll, I guess I'll turn the camera back on then. The axle is out, but the little Allen wrench there, set screw, it's uh, stripped so so I guess I well I don't know how to get it off now I'm gonna be replacing the entire axle but we need the bearing or I could just get a new one but I'll try it one more time to get that off and if it's not gonna work then I don't know what I'll do for the motor mount I'm not going to use that plate right here. I'm going to do something with this piece of angle iron. Because with that where it lined up on the go-kart, with the big wheels, it'll the engine will stick out too far and the wheel will hit right here. Because the shaft isn't that long, so we don't have enough room to move the engine there. So now we have to come up with something else with this and I will show you what that will be. The engine used to bolt up to these holes here but we're going to put it in the middle of these holes and use this piece of angle iron and cut out the notch for it to go over the frame here to cut out, we'll cut open the notch to about there and then on these lines here and then it'll sit flush with this piece right here and then we'll just get another piece of flat bar that, to go about to here and then this piece then we'll drill holes in it and weld it flat to the plate and on each side there and then we'll have our engine mount this will be my gear reduction 18 inch tall tires an 8 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine, which is 3600 RPM, a centrifugal clutch with 17 teeth, and the rear sprocket will have four, 43 teeth on 40 chain, and it should go pretty fast, so I guess we'll just have to find out how fast, and after that we might determine if we need a jack shaft, and then I'll have to build it out the back. So I'm not going to cut off this plate that'll be sticking out the back. Something like that, 
so if we need to make a jack shaft, then we can. These are the tires that came on the go-kart. These uh, racing slicks, they're 10 inches tall. And these are the lawn tractor tires that we are upgrading to. A big difference in size and height. And the tread. So we'll get a lot more grip with these. And they'll go much more faster with the with these big tires than this little tire. These are like 10 inches and that this is 18 inches. So there'll be a, a dramatic speed increase in this equation with our 8 horsepower engine going on to this little go-kart frame. This concludes episode 4 of the $50 go-kart but now with the clutch and that and the sprocket and the seat material and everything it's like $315 and plus other parts that I will have to buy but for now we're at $315 um, so this is episode 4 and I hope you enjoy and cool. that's it